people who actually get the illness and become sick with this kind of flu-like sort of illness um, generally get better, but they've shown that after four weeks, 25% of people still have some of the original symptoms. And after six weeks, about 10% do. Um, in other words, you generally get better six to eight weeks down the line. But there's a group of people who don't get better and they remain ill for a very long period of time. And they've been labeled as the long haulers. They have a whole battery of symptoms. Um, they can be extremely fatigued. They can be sleepy. The symptoms are aggravated by even very mild exercise, like climbing a flight of stairs. They can be breathless. They can have poor concentration, poor focus. They can get headaches, muscle aches, joint pains, and they can become dizzy. Memory loss, singing in their ears. They can have a persistent loss of their taste and smell. They can become anxious. And some describe thirstiness all the time. I mean, you might have heard of the painful fingers and toes that seem to occur in the younger adolescents. Hair can fall out. I mean, the list is pretty endless. And um, these people really battle with their symptoms and it takes them a long time to get better. And we don't really have a, a clear scientific explanation as to why it occurs. But um, in general, there is a trend in my patients, certainly, for them to get better and better. And hopefully it's going to be a self-limiting condition, but last maybe five or six months in some cases. And this is one of the reasons why people believe that a uh, vaccine is quite valuable. Um, in other words, people, the herd immunity may give some degree of immunity to people in general, but if you actually contract the illness, a small percent will become long haulers and it's going to be very debilitating for them because their bosses think they're malingering, they can't go to work because they don't have the energy. So it's, it's going to become more and more um, pervasive problem uh, with this illness. And remember, it's only been in South Africa for six months. So we're only just starting to see these patients. Um, it's, it's going to be a really testing exercise for us doctors.